folks and you are welcome to week three of our exploration of the values. Um, this marks the midway point between what we've already examined with the Prana Bayou and the Prana Bayou and what we're going to work towards. Um, it's pivotal also in terms of its location. So Mana Bayou is located at the belly button or the centre of the abdomen and it's otherwise related to the Manapura chakra. Um, it's located here and it's seen as kind of this um, meeting point of both Pranavayu, which is that breath that draws in and up, or that flow of air that draws in and up, and the Panavayu, that flow of energy that's down and out. And this, particularly, this particular um, Vayu is where we meet at the middle, where we draw those energies, we cultivate them and we ignite them. Um, so Manipura Chakra is behind the navel, it's a solar plexus, and its related colour is yellow, or rays of light. And um, rays of light works really quite well in terms of the element, because um, as we know, the rays of light come from sunshine, and sunshine is a burning ball of gas, and this uh, element is related to fire. And the practice we will um, be cultivating this uh, stoking of the fire, if you will. It's also um, going to really um, anchor the breath to the movement. And certainly our pranayama will totally relate to this centre point, this uh, Manipura chakra, or our Samana Bayu. And we're going to try and bring our awareness there, keep it here, and then move um, with every pose from this focal point. Okay, so without further ado, I want you to just close the eyes, elongate the spine, bring the centre of the head, or the crown of the head over the centre of the pelvis. And just get tall out of your seat, growing and elongating the spine. Use the breath, create the space, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. So as we centre ourselves and tune in with the breath, I want you to feel that flow of breath. Breathing in, sending it down, and then as you exhale, allowing it to rise back up and out through the nose. Another gentle breath in, and really beginning to um, get heavy in the seat. Exhaling, relaxing the shoulders. Okay. So we've done Vajdrika and it was a great um, uh, pranayama to ignite or stoke up the fires of the abdomen. We're going to do um, Kapalavati and it's skull shiny. And it really just, um, the emphasis is on the out breath. And those of you who attend the class um, we would have practiced this before, you'd be quite familiar with it. So we're going to place the hands, both hands on the tummy the abdomen and particularly around this midriff area so that our fingertips meet um, the um, navel. Okay so send, take a gentle breath in, send it down to your belly, allow your belly to expand and then in the exhale you're going to forcefully pull the breath out of the body by taking the navel in towards the spine. Again gentle breath in allowing that gentle expansion through the front of the abdomen Exhale, pull it in. So that sequence of breath, as always, is important as you breathe in. Completely relax the front of the body, creating the space for the in-breath. And then exhale, pulling it in. So we're going to do three rounds of eight, like before, and take your time to get the coordination. So we'll start off slow to begin with. So the first round of eight will be relatively slow while we coordinate. And after the first count of eight, relax the breath. Allow the breath to relax and feel that little sway, a little bit of um, lightheadedness pass before you invite the next round of eight. Okay, so we'll try it again. This time we might um, create a bit of pace here. And relax the breath, allow the breath 
have to re-establish, find a little bit of rhythm. Notice how that kind of sense of lightheadedness is still there. And also note that we are really um, activating the midsection again, a bit like uh, Pashtrika. Um, and the emphasis really is on the, the belly button. Okay, so let's try that again. We're going to increase the pace again if you can. So breathing in, relaxing the belly, exhaling, and using that sharp out breath to pull the belly in. Okay, so something like this. Lower rib 
shoulders and your hip tips. And then exhale to open your left arm towards left. Maybe take a little look over your left shoulder. Good. Inhale, come back to center, drop the arms. Hands down to the thighs, take a deep breath in and look up. Exhale, pull the belly in. So centering that pivotal point between upper and lower body, tailbone tucks, chin draws in. Inhale to lengthen up. This time you can really begin to shine the heart forward and then look up. One last time to exhale and pull the belly in through the navel towards spine. Chin draws in. Good. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Use that rooting down through the sit bones to rise up, create space for the breath. And then exhale to reach the fingertips, shoulder high towards the back of the mat. Get heavy in your left thigh bone. Inhale, when you come around, use the breath to rise, extend, and twist from the belly button. Lovely. Inhale, come all the way back around. Begin to reach your arms forward. Roll out your shoulders one by one. Use the breath. And then go ahead. And then turn your body using that pivotal point from center. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. We're going to reach the hands, staying on the fingertips again, reach the hands forward, find a bit of stretch and lengthening to the right hand side, keeping long in the left so we're going to try and maintain even space um, on the side body on the left. And then inhale, come forward, exhale, walk it through to the other side so we can begin to feel that stretch to the back of the body. Inhale, exhale to center, walk the hands back in, roll out the shoulders. And then we're going to move the feet into a kind of mermaid position. So take the left foot behind, sole of the right foot sits on the inner left thigh. And then using the breath again to extend, inhale, left arm over left ear. Rise up, look up, and then as you exhale, flatten the right hand on the mat, begin to extend the fingertips over. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, come back to center, hold it here, use the breath, extend, and then exhale to reach, right fingertips to the left. This time we're going to inhale, come back to center, and see, can we drop the forearm of the right hand and stay long, so the objective is to stay long from left to right here. And then go ahead and reach the fingertips up and over. Right hand can flatten on the mat and right elbow stays stacked below right shoulder. So we're really beginning to stretch through. Side body staying nice and uh, extended. Spine is long. And without throwing the head forward or back, keep still. See, can we keep the head, neck in line and, spi and spine in line? Inhale, come all the way back up. Reach the hand, feet forward so you can hands elevated without using your hands, so a bit of active movement here. Take a deep breath in, take the inside of the right, sorry, the right foot reaches back and the inner left uh, sole of the foot draws in towards the right hand, inner thigh. Okay, breathe in and then on the exhale, fingertips touch, maybe flatten the hand on the left hand side and then reach the right fingertips over. Inhale, exhale, so we're inviting the stretch and use the breath again to extend and a little bit of lateral flexion, side bend. Inhale to exhale, inhale, exhale. So it's a little bit more challenging than just having the feet um, the hips level on the ground as we would in Sukhasana, so we're creating a little bit of extra challenge and because we take the body in this kind of asymmetrical, the lower body in this asymmetrical position. Okay, deep breath in. This time as you exhale, see, can you lower the elbow of the left arm, making sure we have it lovely and stacked, and then go ahead and use the breath to create the space and the extension, reaching into the fingertips, right fingertips all the way over to the left. 
make sure the body's in line and that the sit bones are nice and heavy or relatively heavy. And then inhale to center. Exhale, invite the twist on the other side, create the balance. Inhale to exhale, drop it down and reach it up and over. Find that extension, pull the lower ribs in. So we're not really jutting out here to center, we're maintaining that samana bayu, maintaining that um, drawing in of the center of the pelvis, sorry, of the abdomen. Inhale, gently come back, drop the hands, take the feet all the way around front. Use the breath, rise up. And exhale, soften the shoulders away from the ears. So just using uh, this momentarily to recalibrate. Soften the shoulders, close the eyes, take a gentle breath in. Exhale, release. Another breath in. Well done, as you exhale, take the knees all the way back, underneath the hips, place the hands under the shoulders, tabletop position, press away from the mat, keep the shoulders engaged, and begin to tuck the toes. We're going to keep the toes tucked and begin to create a bit of tone across the abdominal wall, suck the belly in slightly, press down through your toes, press down through the fingertips, maybe claw the fingertips down, bring your awareness to your belly button and use the breath. So we have opposing forces uh, with the pana, sorry, prana and the pana vayu. Remember, prana vayu draws in and up, and the pana vayu draws down and out. So let's let them meet here in the solar plexus, in the navel. Hold the energy in. Take the breath in. Invite that stoking of the fire. So we uh, likened the solar plexus to the rays of light of the, the ball of energy that burns here. So use the breath to ignite that fire. Feel the heat, feel the prana shake a little bit, holding for another five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, flatten the toes, take a deep breath in as you exhale, push into the hands and then slowly take it into our lovely Balasana, try to pose to soften it, soften the breath. But allow the awareness to stay focused and really feel the energy in the body after the pose. Notice any sensations as they rise and listen to the breath. Where are you feeling the last couple of poses? Where does the energy reside? And then slowly come all the way back up onto all fours. We're going to walk the hands underneath the shoulders and then extend right arm forward, left leg behind. Make sure left um, hand is below the shoulder and that we keep the toes of the left foot in line with the hip. You can point the toes here and then go ahead and hug in through centre. So reaching forward, stretching back, opposing forces here, opposing energies, but keeping it supported through center. Keep your gaze towards the mat, keep the energy long in the back of the neck, exhale, come back to center, and let's go for the other side, superhero pose, inhaling, stretching, left arm forward, right foot back, pressing into that right hand to create stability, hugging in, hug, hug in. Navel draws in towards spine and use the breath, inhaling, exhale. So as you exhale, remember that drawing in of center. And one more breath here, inhaling and exhaling. Well done, bring it all the way back. Continue to flatten the hands on the mat and then go ahead and relax uh, the heart center towards the mat. So really uh, melting the heart space, the chest, towards the mat. Allow extension in the side body. Inhale to tuck the toes. Feel the toes connect to the mat as you press into the heels of the hands. Inhale, lift the hips high and then go ahead and reach that energy back into the corner of the hips as we find that lovely stretch down the back of the legs, toning up the calves and re-engagement of the quads and hamstrings. 
inhale and then exhale begin to soften the heels towards the mat I'm just going to move slightly forward soften the heels down towards the mat and then pull the roll the heads of the shoulder blades towards center and we're going to do that um, navigation of the um, energy and focus towards the center of the abdomen again by really hugging the lower ribs in so find that engagement take a deep breath in look towards your mat and see can we exhale and drop the forearms down now it's hard to stay on the heels once you drop your forearms down the hips want to lift slightly higher that's absolutely fine so keep drawing the navel in inhale come forward on the toes let the energy press down through the forearms and then exhale pull the heels back as you press into the elbows keep the energy supported from center here inhale forward maybe look forward exhale back so really keep the focus here on the center of the body and then inhale you're going to slowly lift back up onto the palms press into the heels of the hands and then go ahead and lift your right leg up behind feel energy as you rise up into three-legged dog pressing evenly down through your hands still hugging the lower ribs towards the hip tips and then exhale step it through to the front of your mat line up your left foot and keep your back knee lifted keep some energy in the legs by drawing feet towards one another press down begin to rise up lengthening through the front of the body keeping the back inner thigh lifted begin to reach the arms out towards uh, left to right to start with balance up find your drishti gaze and then as you exhale you're going to reach right arm forward left arm behind and begin to pull um, the body towards the right twisting from this center line the navel almost Use the breath, keep it steady, arms are nice and level. If you're starting to feel the effort coming from the pelvis to the lower back, um, inhale, come back around again. Reach your arms up this time. Make sure that you create the twist from the left bottom. Deep breath in and then exhale. Take it into it again. Find your balance. Stretch into the arms back inner thigh rolling towards center that's going to create a little bit of heat use the breath keep this energy focused on the navel keep the legs drawing towards one another to keep the energy there inhale come back towards center and then exhale release the hands drop the top of the right sorry the left knee and the top of the left foot Press down, rise up, take the hands to the heart. Deep breath in. As you exhale, reach left arm up and over the left ear. Exhale to drop the left hand down on the outside of the right knee. And then go ahead and use that central pivotal movement. Breathing in, lengthening, and then exhaling and opening again. So really creating that maneuver from the solar plexus well done inhale and drop it back take the knees together and let the sit bones kiss the heels and extend the hands forward in front of the child's pose so really ground the breath And feel it as it settles. Use a few more inhalations, exhalations, and then well done. Inhale, sit back up, claw down through the fingertips, taking the shoulders, joining them over the wrists, and then inhaling and lengthening through the side of the body. Tuck the toes and the exhale, and then slowly begin to walk the heels of the hands away from the shoulders or the shoulders from the heels of the hands and bringing the energy back into the hips again and then inhale slowly come forward dropping the elbows 
hands can interlace and then hugging the lower belly in. Shoulder blades nice and stacked. And then inhale slightly forward. Exhale, press into the forearms, the foundation here, and take the shoulders away from the bottom of the ears. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keeping the energy, drawing towards centre, use the breath. Exhale back. And then on the next inhale, press down, walk the hands forward, plant the right heel, and then begin to lengthen into the left leg. You can point the toes, keep the energy evenly pressing down towards the earth through your hands, your arms, your hands, and then exhale. Go ahead, bend the knee and step it through to the front of the mat. Let's do that dance, that routine where we hug the belly in, press down through the foundation, the feet, and rise up, taking the crown of the head over the center of the pelvis and finding a little bit of lift, hugging the belly in, creating that energy and that contraction of energy towards center. Good, take a deep breath in, rise up and then reach right arm forward, left arm behind, turning from center, that belly button movement, keep the back inner thigh rolling in. Use the breath, inhale, come back to center, stack it up, level up, recalibrate, make sure left knee is stacked over the left ankle, we're not unduly um, jeopardizing the energy in the knee. Deep breath in, lengthen up. And then as you exhale, do that movement again from the belly button into the twist. Stretch into the fingertips, keep the arms level. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Rain your hands down to the mat. Drop the top of your left knee and the top of your left foot. Breathe in, press down, rise up. Take the hands on the hips, maybe roll in the shoulders for a little bit of release. Pause the video if you need to or drop it into child's pose. Take a gentle breath in and then on the next inhale, go ahead and lengthen into the right arm all the way through from the top of the hip all the way up as you exhale. The outside of the right hand can drop on the outside of the left knee. Take a deep breath in, we're extending, flexing and lengthening and then bring it into that bend, that twist as we lengthen left hand behind. Breathe in, press down, so we're gonna really root down to the feet and the foreleg, rise up and then exhaling to look back at the left hand, well done. Take it back to the mat, take knees this time, you can extend out through the knees, just Begin to open up the hips after those few stretches. Bow the head and take a few breaths. Nice deep breaths in and out. That's it, inhaling and exhaling. And feel the breath as always. Compare your child pose. This time can you settle quicker into the breath so always Kind of constantly keeping yourself present and examining and being aware. And then slowly walk the hands back in, take your bum all the way down to the mat and then swing your feet forward. Okay, we're going to begin to lengthen up to the spine, roll the shoulders just for a little bit of release again and then breathe into the palms of the hands, place them towards the ceiling, hug the belly in, lean back slightly on the sit bones, maybe walk the knees in and have the toes point towards ceiling, heels can rest down. However, uh, you can keep it like this, but we're really going to pull in through center again and then lift the arm, sorry, the feet up in this boat pose. So we're going to transition from low boat into high boat and it's really going to test the core, test this Manipura, um, sorry, this uh, solar plexus. Inhale, drop it down slightly. In, exhale to rise up. Inhale, reach it back. Chest lifts, belly really 
focuses in here, really drawing in the abdominals. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to open up. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to open up. Really drawing in, so we're really using the abdominal wall here. Inhale to exhale. Well done. Inhale, take a little break. Sit it up. Lengthen to the spine. Take it into little twists. Moving. Awareness. Keeping it centered. And then inhale, come all the way back. As you exhale, we're just going to reach the fingertips forward. And we're going to keep the energy pressing down to all ten fingertips. Inhale to reach forward, lift and lengthen, and then exhale to level off. Allow the weight of the head to gently fall forward and use the breath. Good. Another gentle breath in. And then as you exhale, drop your elbows and then go ahead and reach the feet back. We're going to take it into this semi plank here. So stay on the toes, hug the belly in, lower ribs draw in. And then inhale to gently pivot forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And then come on to the side body. We're going to bend the knees. Make sure the elbow is below the left shoulder. And then reach the right foot forward. You can go ahead and lengthen into the left leg. You're going to inhale and reach into the semi side plank. So it's almost like a sphinx side plank. And then pulling the belly in. Exhale to reach it up and over. Taking the chest forward towards the long end of your mat. Stretch into the fingertips. Hug the side body in, keep it level. That supporting the foot really helps this, with this pose. So make it structured, don't collapse. We're really pressing away from the mat so that the head, neck and spine are in line. We haven't cut off the energy of the spine by allowing the head to dip here. So hold this position for five. Use the breath, four, three, doing great. Two, and one. Inhale, come back onto our plank. Allow the feet, the toes to stay tucked. You can drop the hips here if you like. Um, otherwise, we're just going to gently maybe sway left to right this time. Um, navel draws in, keep that tone, don't lose it. And then exhale, drop the hips down, come on the uh, knife edge of the left hand side. Take the, the, the left foot forward this time, pressing into all four corners of the left foot, and then go ahead and lift the side body. So the bottom of the right, sorry, right foot is still on the mat. And then inhale to reach the arm, right left arm over, left ear, and then stretch the other left arm up and over. So really stretching through the front of the body, but still keeping our awareness towards center. Use the breath, feel the energy, feel the prana. Don't let the side body dip towards the mat. Keep pressing away from the mat through your foundation and keep the neck, back of the neck long. Five, four, three, two and one. Well done. All the way back, drop the foot and then Inhale, reach the arms forward, stretch into the legs one by one behind. And let's find those opposing forces again. So reaching forward, stretching back, and pulling in through center. Using the support of the mat to find the stretch. And we're going to begin to lengthen into the legs and pull the feet, the lower legs, um, and the upper thighs away from the mat as we raise the legs and press down to the pubic bone and then inhale to lift the front body so we really are using the breath to create the space exhale look towards the mat keep the arms and legs stretched inhale create that y and c and that lift through the front of the body exhale look towards the mat keep sitting keep the feet 
elevated, the hand elevated. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to look towards the mat. One more breath. Inhale to lift, firming down to the centre of the body. And then as you exhale, bring the hands towards the side of the chest. Hug the elbows in towards centre. Inhale, tuck your toes. And then let's see, can we exhale, press down to the hands and take it straight up into downward dog. Walk your feet in and begin to soften the knees. As you exhale, pull the chest towards the knee. Inhale to stretch, pull contraction. Exhale and then contract towards the center. Really hug the belly in here. We're gonna just hold this position by really anchoring um, the shoulder blades in towards the center of the spine. Keeping that pressing away motion through the hands uh, and drawing the belly in, so keeping the lower belly connected. Bring your awareness back down to that navel point. Feel the energy as you look towards the mat. Don't drop the head, so can you keep this cultivation of energy between pranayama, pranayama, pranayama and samani vayu. And then hug it in, inhale, as you exhale, drop the feet down, inhale, look up, and then maybe step forward, take a deep breath in, press down through your hands, lengthen through the back of the body. As you lift your gaze, exhale, fold in. We're gonna take the hands behind the knees, interlace and find the elbows through both hands, opposite hands, opposite elbows. Breathe in, look towards the mat, and as you exhale, allow the weight of the head to fall forward, begin to pull the hips towards the ceiling. Hug the belly, really draw the belly in here, and create that nice contraction to the front of the body. Feel that stretch through the back of the legs, particularly the hamstrings and calves. Inhale, exhale, drop the hands down, rise up again into upward uh, uttanasana. Exhale, press down, rise and shine into urdha hastasana. Exhale, drop the hands all the way down, roll out the shoulders. And then go ahead and release the hands forward, up and over, lengthen up, full body stretch. Allow the front of the body to lengthen. And then as you exhale, we're gonna dive forward. This time we're gonna take it into a flat back position. Internal rotation of the arms to bring the palms of the hands up. And then go ahead and pull the belly in. Pull the chin in, level through. Take a deep breath in. Use that imaginary resistance. We're holding up the ceiling with our hands, finding that uh, stretch through the back of the triceps. Take another gentle breath in. As you exhale, release it all the way down to the mat. Fold it in as you exhale. Inhale, place the hands on the mat. This time step right foot back, left foot stays forward. And then pressing down, rise up again. Lift it up into this lovely lunge. We're gonna broaden the hands out. Take the fingertips towards the ceiling. Use the breath and then on the exhale, we're going to bring the inner edges of the elbows together. Keep the left knee stacked over the left ankle. Wrap right arm around the left. Take a deep breath in. Begin to lift the elbows towards off shoulder high. And then as you exhale, bow. Pull the belly in from that belly button point. Bow it down, squeeze your thighs towards center, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release your hands, drop your right knee, drop the right foot, take a deep breath in as you exhale. Allow the hips to journey over that right knee, extend into the left leg, point the toes. If you have to bend the knee, you bend the knee. Breathe in, lengthen up as you exhale. Hug it in, hug it in, hug it in go forward. Inhale to lengthen and stretch. Exhale, begin to hug the belly in as you bow your head. 
Inhale, walk that foot forward. Tuck the toes of your back foot and we're just going to switch right front to left behind. Let's see if we can play with that switch. Good, keep the energy drawing in, use the abdomen and use the core energy. Inhale to exhale, one more time. Inhale, pulling the belly in as we switch leg right forward, left back, good. Breathe in, press down, rise up. Pull the right hip back and left hip hooks forward. We have this lovely box shape to the hips. Inhale, raise your arms, fingertips, so sort of cactus arms, fingertips, pointing towards ceiling. Inhale, open it up, chest lifts. And then on the exhale, go ahead and bring your inner elbows together. This time, left around, right. Interlace the fingers, inhale, draw it up, stretch it up, keep the back inner thigh strong, legs are strong. And then as you exhale, bow it down. Hugging in through centre, using the core, massive core energy here. Five, four, three, two, one. Doing great. Drop the hands, drop the left knee, go ahead and begin to move the hips back. Toes, the right foot lift. Inhale to lengthen, heart shines forward. And then as you exhale, pull Manipura in towards centre as you bow the head forward. Think of that ball of fire in the belly. It's nicely stoked now, it's energized. And then inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale to cultivate that fire. Keep it centered. Bow the head, well done. Inhale, walk the hips forward, take the knees back. And by all means, go ahead and take our lovely child's pose. Okay, doing really well. Take a sip of water now if you need to hydrate at any point, obviously. Pause your video, you know what to do. It's another, another lovely day here. Weather has been exceptionally dry, whether that's coincidental or not, or whether fossil fuels have been uh, playing a part in all this lovely weather, who knows. Inhale, slowly come back up onto all fours, and then we're going to go ahead and lengthen through the side of the body. So we're going to have uh, the left hand side of the body, sorry, the right hand side of the body touching the mat, right elbow is below the right shoulder, and we're going to begin to find a little bit of balance, okay? Uh, and a little bit of stretch. Now, notice that once we uh, place the body in this position, the lower ribs kind of jut out. So let's bring our awareness back down to center and without knocking your hips offline, pull the belly in. So it's a bit of a balancing act here and you'll feel it. Maybe point the toes and really connect, stacking one side of the body over the other. Place your right hand, sorry, your left hand on the mat, that'll help uh, stabilize you. And then inhale, we're going to lift one leg above the other. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, begin to move the knee in towards center. Good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch. Inhale, exhale. Pulling the knee in on the exhale. Really feel the energy towards center. Inhale to stretch. Exhale to draw in. Good. Now we're going to inhale, stretch, and we're going to level the right arm under the right ear. Keep the left hand for balance again. And we're going to uh, make sure the body's stacked as before, and then do this supta brikshasana, this lying down um, tree pose. So go ahead and take the inner left thigh, uh, foot I've got against the right thigh without kind of using your hands to draw in, if you can. Balance up, and then using this center point of energy, your belly, I want you to pull the belly in, and then go ahead and reach your arm up and over, if you can. So find your balance. That is the secret to using the core energy to create the pose. The stabilities we're drawing from this well of energy towards the center of the body. Samana Bayou. 
So keep the stretch. There's even stretch to both sides of the body. Well done. Exhale. We're going to turn our rotisserie on top. And we're doing the front end of the body here again. So take a deep breath in. This time I want you to press down through the right foot. Lift the left leg behind. Press down through the left arm. Lift the right arm in front. So inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift and lengthen, reaching forward, stretching back, hugging in through the center. Exhale, go ahead and roll it onto the right hand side this time. Sorry, left hand side. Stretching into the left arm, bringing the sole of the right foot up on the inner left thigh. And then reaching the right knee towards left knee towards the ceiling. And then inhale. See, so can we reach the right arm up and over? Find your balance. Hug in from center. Use this as the movement, from the point of movement, to lift the arm up and over. Then we take the hands together. Keep the head resting on the upper left bicep. Opening up through the body, but hugging navel to spine. Well done. Inhale, exhale, come all the way back. Begin to reach the arms back. We'll take it into Shalambasana, Lotus Pose, by inhaling and stretching, lifting arms and legs away from the mat, turning the palms towards the ceiling, pressing down through your belly button to rise up. Well done. Exhale, release it down. This time, roll up onto the back. Roll the knees in towards center and find a bit of support. I just want you to drop the feet down to the mat. Walk the heels in towards your bum. And we're going to do a bit of dwee pad of hip. And this uh, movement of lifting the arms up and over the head, we're going to find that. So before we take it into full dwee pad of hip, I want you to inhale and lift your arms up and over. And notice how the lower ribs begin to jut out, okay? So we're losing this energy once we uh, uh, create this movement. So I want you to really um, begin to hug lower ribs towards hip tips. And keep that tone, keep that awareness there. Inhale and raise your arms up and over. Use the breath, so still breathe, never hold the breath. But maintain the tone. Good. Feel the breath. So that movement of energy rising and falling. Good. So bring the arms forward. Exhale. Inhale and bring them up and over. Keep that tone in the belly. Exhale. You inhale. Good. Exhale. Okay, this time we're going to increase the movement. So you're going to press down to your feet. Inhale and rise up. As you begin to press down to the feet and lift the hips up towards the ceiling, we're going to hug the belly in and lift the arms up and over. So the chest lifts, the belly and the lower ribs still stay connected. We're keeping the energy, we're saving it and preserving it towards center. Exhale to drop down. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to drop down. Pressing down to the feet to lift up and over. If your shoulders are a little bit limited in movement because you're creating this uh, extra awareness and extra support um, from the core, don't worry, you don't have to touch the ground. Exhale, drop the hips. One more time, rooting down to rise up and holding the ribs in. So as you hold the ribs in, the pelvis um, wants to tilt. You want to keep minimal movement in the pelvis, so it's all about definitely mid-center. Exhale, drop it down. Level the hands, begin to lengthen into the feet. Take a gentle breath in. Exhale, release. And I want you to begin to Settle into Shavasana, so find your comfortable position, 
use that support in your lower back or behind your knees <clears throat> or even your bolster along the spine whichever suits that nice restorative position and begin to allow the arms and legs splay outward maybe take the palms towards the ceiling dial the shoulder blades in slightly underneath the rib cage give it a bit of lift and then go ahead and relax your head maybe take it into a gentle roll from left to right find that nice flat spot at the back of the head rest it down make sure we have everything in alignment the crown of the head is over the center of the pelvis and close your eyes if you haven't already and keeping your awareness to the breath always to the breath i want you to begin to soften everything down and bring your full attention to your solar plexus your center allow the breath to rise and fall, keeping your awareness in this beautiful center point, relaxing the body and in return feeling the mind begin to settle. Bringing our focus back to the breath. to rise like a wave gently in the chest and fall as you exhale. Another gentle breath in and exhale. As we begin to observe the mind acknowledging any thought or distraction that enters the mind. Observing but not engaging in this activation of the mind. And taking your, your awareness back to the breath, anchoring it towards the breath. Keep being mindful that the breath does keep us present. We can't take a past breath can't live a past breath, nor can we force a future breath. So it's really a great way to keep present. Take a nice cleansing breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to discard anything that no longer serves you. So scan your body. Do you find any holding? restriction, send the breath there and release it, let it go. Use the energy that we cultivate during the practice where we brought our full attention to our center and allow this feeling of balance to percolate. The center point where two or more energies meet, begin to soften and release. Allow <coughs> to relax towards the mat, releasing, becoming weighty, so that the back of the body and the front of the body, and allowing your whole body, just allowing your whole body to melt. But particularly after such a strong core practice, you to find that extra weight from your belly button pressing towards your spine. I want you to find that. Allow that energy to open up through the back of the body and begin to filter out to that point, allowing this imaginary wash of energy. 
go away on that point <clears throat> through all four corners of your body down towards the mat and release as you breathe gently now I want you to notice the rhythm and the pattern of your breath steadiness sounds in and outside of the room that you're in to keep your focus. And as we allow ourselves to gently come out of Shavasana, I want you to <clears throat> use that cultivation, that centeredness that you created throughout the practice and bring it into your the rest of your day feeling of centeredness and balance and that feeling of being in control and then slowly bring yourself into an awakened state fully aware using the hands and feet and maybe bending the knees to take it into full seated position slowly pressing down and rising up 